Hello everybody. Today we shall study the lesson from the diary of Anne Frank. Anne Frank was a German Dutch with a Jewish origin. And she became famous for her book Diary of a Young Girl. In this book she wrote about her life in Heidau from the German and she also mentioned about the condition during the World War II. The character sketch of Anne Frank. In the chapter from the diary of Anne Frank, the writer Anne Frank tells about her true companion, that is a diary given to her on her birthday. She writes everything about her life in her diary and considered it as a true friend. At the time of invasion of German, her family hid themselves in a building. At that time, she started to write in her diary. She spent her adolescence years hidden from outside world and her diary kept all her secrets. In her diary, she wrote many other things about the family relationship, about how they spent their days in the dungeon and what all they did to keep themselves away from the Germans. Anne Frank's first entry in the diary. Anne Frank, as a 13-year-old girl, was gifted a diary by her father. So she decided to write in her diary, which she considered to be her best friend, in loneliness and named it Kitty. She began writing in June 1942. In her first entry, she expressed her desire to confide everything to the diary, as she hadn't been able to do so to anyone else. She felt that paper had more patience than people. Secondly, she thought that Nobody would be interested in her diary as she was a small girl. In the diary, she mentioned and wrote about everybody who was in hiding. But she could not express her thoughts, her feelings to her mother, with whom she had a lot of quarrels. She thought that nobody was around to understand her, to share her feelings. and called her father as the most adorable person. He was 36 when he married her father, who was just 25. She has an older sister, Margot. She had about 30 people around her, but she had no true friends. They lived in Frankfurt for some time, but as they were Jewish, they had to migrate to Holland for refuge. Her mother stayed with her grandmother, but went to Holland to her father. So through these lines we understand that though Anne Frank had a lot of people around her but she found herself to be lonely because she was not able to express her feelings, she was not able to open her mind, she was not able to tell what she felt and how she wanted something to be done. Anne's schooling she was sent to a Montessori nursery school. She stayed there until she was six. On her farewell, she and her headmistress, Mrs. Cupers, had tears in their eyes. So she had a wonderful nursery school in her childhood day. Her grandmother's death. In the summer of 1941, her grandmother fell ill. She had to be operated upon but she died in January 1942. It gave Anne a shock and she did not write her diary in that period. But after that, she wrote again as she thought of her grandmother's love and affection. Anne Frank was very much attached to her grandmother. As I said, she was not that much attached or she never confined anything with her mother. She was not very much attached with her mother. So she had a good attachment with her grandmother. They were considered to be very good friends also. But after her death, 
she felt herself more lonely and then she stopped writing for some period of time but then she when she remembered her grandmother again she started writing all about her again her views about teachers and was not good at math so she and her friends were always worried about it but she was sure that she would go to the next class she always considered teachers to be the most unpredictable creatures on the earth so she told her friends not to lose hope and was a little worried about maths because at home there was nobody to tell her about maths so she was always worried but she never skipped her next class she was a very good student but because of maths she was punished by her math teachers many times punishment by mr kizi and was a good student had a good relationship with all the teachers except mrs kizi who taught her maths she was always annoyed by her talkative nature he used to give extra homework as punishment he asked her to write an essay on chatterbox he also put a slip on it on her bag to remind her about it now and was caught talking in a class as she had less friends at home she found friends among her schoolmates so she talked to them to her heart content so this habit of her landed her in trouble in kizing's class and she was asked to write an essay on chatterbox homework given as punishment again and frank was very talkative in her class because as i said there was nobody at home to talk to her so she spoke in her regular classes and this annoyed mr kizing kizing found and frank very talkative in his class so as a form of remedial measure he asked and to write number of essays he did not pick up the stick but he wanted to correct and by writing and making her write essays so and argued against this many a times and mocked mr kizing with her homework and wanted to write something interesting and different this time because every time she was caught talking in the math class and as a form of remedial measure and was given to write an essay by mr kizing so with the help of her friends she wrote a poetry she wrote an essay in verse it was about three ducklings going deaf because their father duck beat them as they quacked way too much mr kizing took the joke in the right way and did not bother and for talking about after that incident she was not even given an extra homework for that so this was also a type of uh, telling mr kizing that his form of punishment was too much taxing on her so she also taught mr kizing a lesson chapter highlights and frank lived in holland after hitler's invasion her father and mother left her and her sister to her grandmother that is when she was very much attached with her grandmother she was gifted a diary on her 13th birthday which she considered the most precious thing and she kept on writing all the details about her hiding from the nazis in that diary she named it kitty and made it her best friend in her loneliness because she understood that people around her were not interested with her nor with her talk she thought of writing everything inside that diary she wrote every problem and happenings in her diary she was very close to her grandmother and she wrote a lot of things they lived in hiding for many years to survive she was lovable of every teacher except mr kizing who taught math mr kizing got annoyed with her talkative nature he punished her by giving extra homework many a time her essay in verses on many topics and sometimes to humiliate mr kizing also did not affect him mr kizing took the essays which he wrote 
in a very pleasant and pleasing way and also in a positive way. He allowed her to talk after reading many of her essays and relieved her from any sort of extra pain. When the Nazis found their hideout, Anne and her sister Margaret was taken to a concentration camp. In the concentration camp, they contracted typhus and they both died in 1945. Her father Otto was the only one who survived. He took the efforts to publish her famous book, The Story of a Young Girl. Thank you.